These are the best majors to choose in college if you wanna get a job in the tech industry. And trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got into tech at 16 years old and I went to college for computer science. While in school for computer science, I had three different internships and ended up graduating with seven different job offers. I've helped hundreds of other people get a job in tech as well. So it's safe to say that if you choose any of these majors, it will increase your chances of getting a job in the tech industry and you'll never have to worry about money again in your life. First First, we'll walk through the best tech majors that you can choose to get a job in the tech industry. Number one is cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is the best major to pick in college because as you can see, there are different cyber attacks happening every single day. There are now over 700,000 unfilled cybersecurity roles. So there's so much opportunity for you to get a job in this space and for you to keep a job in this space for the rest of your life. When choosing a major, you want to position yourself to have a job that is going to be very stable and in demand in the future. On top of that, it's best to pick an industry that is going to pay you a lot of money. Cybersecurity roles can pay anywhere from low $70,000 to upwards of $500,000 a year. So there's a lot of opportunity for you to grow in the cybersecurity field. Now, when you choose cybersecurity as a major, what jobs can you get? You can get a job as a SOC analyst, which is an entry level cybersecurity role. You can also get jobs as a cybersecurity analyst analyst and depending on how good you are with cybersecurity and how many internships you get you can get jobs as a cybersecurity engineer as well vulnerability analyst is another entry-level role that you can get and if you're interested in GRC you can get a security control assessor job or a junior ISSO job which is information system security officer so there are many different job titles and career paths that you can take just within the cybersecurity industry alone the next best major that you can choose is computer science. Computer science is what I went to school for. I got a computer science bachelor's with a minor in mathematics and I still think that this is one of the best majors that you can go to school for and it really has nothing to do about the job opportunities but it has everything to do with the fact that if you go to school for computer science it teaches you how to think, it teaches you how to problem solve and I think with where AI is going in the future the biggest thing is going to be who can solve problems the fastest and who can solve the hardest problems. So computer science, it prepares you for just problem solving. That's all software programming and software engineering is, is problem solving. I know a lot of people think that computer science is overcrowded, that software engineering is dead, AI has killed software engineering, but what a lot of people are not paying attention to is different industries that people are literally completely overlooking. There are many other industries outside of FANG and big tech. So if you only focus on FANG and big tech, yes, yeah, it's going to be extremely hard to get into these industries. But if you start to open up and expand your horizon, looking at the government sector, looking at the energy, transportation, hotel, hospitality, all of these other industries, they all are looking for software engineers. So it's really up to you to decide how hard do you want your job search to be if you decide to move forward with a computer science major. Now, I've already talked about software engineering jobs, but what other jobs can you get as a computer science major? You can also get a job as a DevOps engineer or an embedded software engineer. This is what I did when I got out of school. I was an embedded software engineer and I was writing code in C and C++ for different radar systems. If you're interested in testing and automations, you can get a job as a test automations engineer. If your school has these degrees, it probably would be better for you to focus on the AI ML degree instead of computer science because it would be more focused on the AI track. The last best major that you should choose to get into the tech industry is computer engineering. Computer engineering is very similar to computer science, but the main difference is that with computer engineering, you're focused more on hardware than you are software, and you're not gonna be spending all four years just writing different programs. When it comes to computer engineering, you do need to know some electrical engineering. They're gonna focus more on hardware. So if you're somebody who's interested in hardware and software, computer engineering is going to be the better pick for you. I also think that there's a a big opportunity for people who decide to choose computer engineering because now we're seeing a lot of different hardware technology advances when it comes to GPUs, when it comes to robots, different AI hardware tools and technologies that are coming out. I think that positioning yourself by being a computer engineer major is going to allow you to have a lot of opportunity to be at the forefront of the different technologies that are coming out. So what jobs can you get as a computer engineering major? Some computer engineers decide to 
to just focus on software engineering. So you can definitely get a software engineer job. You also can get a hardware engineer job or an embedded software engineer job. Or some people, if you decide to focus on radars and aerospace, you can get a radar engineering job as well. If you want to position yourself in the future, I would focus on a GPU engineering job just because there's so much opportunity and growth happening in that space currently. Now that I've covered the best majors that you should get into in college, I want to talk about why so many people do college the completely wrong way and how to actually make college beneficial for you. Most people end up going to college and they don't do any internships. Your main objective for college should be to network with people and to get internships. That's pretty much it. If you don't get any internships while you're in college, it's going to be 10 times harder for you to get a job once you graduate because you're going to look around and all of your other peers, they're going to have internships on their resume. They might work at companies like Apple, Google, Raytheon, Northrop Grumman. They might work at all of the big tech companies, maybe some of the airline companies, maybe some of the car manufacturer companies. I had a lot of friends that got jobs with Toyota when I was in school and got jobs with Exxon. So if you are trying to compete with people who had an internship all throughout college and you didn't get any actual experience, you're going to have a very hard time. So to do college the right way, what you need to do is make sure that you get a different internship every single year. I know that it seems very comfortable and it's very easy to just take that re-offer that you get from the company that you interned with the summer before, but trust me, go and get a new internship at a different company, maybe even go get a new internship in a completely different job title. So then that way, when you graduate, you have a well-rounded background. On top of getting internships, I highly suggest that you try and get some internships outside of your home state or wherever it is that you're going to college at. A lot of these different companies, they will pay for your housing if you go and get an internship in a completely different state. I got an internship in Boston, Massachusetts, even though I lived in Virginia, and it was one of the best things that I ever did. This internship was with the federal government. I ended up working with the United States Air Force as a computer science trainee, and it opened up so many doors for me. Just by having that government agency on my resume, it allowed me to stand out and go to the next level as a candidate when I was out there in the job market. But I didn't stop at the federal government. I then went and got another internship with a company called Northrop Grumman. So Northrop Grumman is an aerospace defense company, and I was a software engineer for Northrop Grumman for one summer. And again, this just really helped out my resume because this was the first internship that I had where it exposed me to Linux. It exposed me to Red Hat Enterprise Linux specifically. While I was at Northrop Grumman, I was creating test plans and writing automation software packages for their Red Hat Enterprise Linux system. So it exposed me to a lot of different technologies. I never had written any type of bash shell scripts, no automation scripts. I never even touched Red Hat before. So it exposed me to so much more. And this is what opened up a lot of doors for me because in the government space, almost all of their systems are built on top of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So with me having a vast amount of experience, by the time I graduated, I had seven different job offers from different government contractor companies and government agencies. And I know a lot of people don't like to focus on GPA, but trust me, it's in your best interest to graduate with at least a 3.0 GPA. The higher your GPA, the better, and it's gonna be easier to land a job after graduation. So if you follow these steps, get a job in one of these three majors, make sure you get an internship every single summer and keep your GPA up, you'll have so many opportunities by time you graduate college. Now I listed a lot of tech industries that you can look at outside of big tech and FANG, but the best tech industry that you can work in is GovTech. This is the government technology sector. And the reason why it's the best sector is because it's super stable and you are able to make high salaries and you can get government security clearances. Right now, there's over 500,000 unfilled cybersecurity roles and technical roles just in the government sector. And they're looking for people like you to hire to get into these roles and work in this industry and take the government to the next level. You can start working in the government space as early as 16 years old, just like I did. And you can definitely get different internships every single year, just like I did as well, and get sponsored for a government security clearance. So as long as you're a US citizen and open to going through the background check process, you can get a government security clearance and you can work in this stable industry. And the best part is you never have to worry about mass layoffs and you never have to worry about is the government 
hiring. The government is literally always hiring. So if you don't want to worry about job stability, you don't want to worry about getting laid off, and you don't want to worry about having to look for a job once you graduate, then this industry is for you and you should think about getting a job in the government space. I also forgot to mention that the federal government will also start paying for your school if you decide to start working for them. So while I was an intern, they started paying for my different classes. They started paying for my CLEP exams. So there's a lot of benefits of getting into this space very early on. So if you want to land your dream job in tech in college, now you know exactly how to do it the right way. And if you want to learn how to get into the GovTech industry, if I were to start all over today, then click the video on the screen and you can watch it right now. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.